cyber attack. Meanwhile, a Cinco de Mayo tradition has been canceled out of fear ICE agents will arrest people who come to enjoy the festivities. For a decade, El Carnaval de Pueblo has taken over the streets of South Philadelphia in early May. It's one of the city's most prominent Latin American events. You're looking at video from past years. Organizers tell us the decision to cancel is unanimous. Most people say they understand. Everyone's pretty much afraid because they're saying that Basically, ICE is just going to come in out of, the, out of nowhere. Philadelphia ICE agents say their raids are, quote, targeted and that the agency doesn't conduct sweeps indiscriminately. Carnival organizers hope to bring the event back next year. And now, your Storm Team 4 forecast. And after an overall pretty nice weekend, as we look to the upcoming work week, we're talking about up and down temperatures as we officially begin astronomical spring tomorrow morning at 629 in the morning. That's your first weather headline. And you can see the temperatures kind of all over the place as we would expect in spring. And we still need the rain. We did have some rain and snow showers overnight ending very early this morning. You'll see the drought monitor, though, just how much we need. And we'll have some more light showers around Monday night in the forecast. I'll also be timing those out for you. Currently, we're in the 40s and 50s. 51 degrees right now in Washington, 45 in Frederick, 50 in Culpeper. As we head on into the overnight hours, it's another chilly night. We fall into the 30s once again, so we start off our Monday at 7 a.m. Right around 38 degrees in Washington, low to mid-30s in the suburbs. So maybe a light jacket early, but as you head out and about throughout the day, probably don't need it, long sleeves, especially for the kids getting on the school bus going to be just fine. By lunchtime, we have temperatures in the low 50s and a high tomorrow of 60. So a good five degrees warmer than we were today. Tomorrow evening, it's cool, it's crisp, it's refreshing. We'll have temperatures in the mid 50s by 8 o'clock. So all in all, the weather having a low impact on your Monday, the commute to and from work. Going to want the sunglasses, recess for the kids, definitely outdoors. Really nice out there. And tomorrow is a perfect day. You can walk out and grab lunch. You might want the light jacket kind of all depends on your preference. I think if you have long sleeves and you're walking at a nice pace, you'll be just fine. Outdoor exercise, it's comfortably cool, it's refreshing. It's that perfect running and biking weather that we love during the transitional seasons. Here's the rain chances though Monday evening. So 9 p.m. We're still completely dry across the area. Notice the rain back in the panhandle of West Virginia, far western Maryland. As we head on into the overnight hours, that rain moves in from west to east. 11 p.m. We're tracking rain in parts of Fairfax, Prince William, Fauquier, Loudoun, Montgomery, and Frederick counties. It continues to impact the D.C. metro area around midnight. By 3 a.m. Still some scattered showers, especially in southern Maryland. And then by 5 a.m. We return to dry conditions, but we do keep the clouds around on Tuesday. So here's the drought monitor. As of today, you can see most of the area is under a severe drought. We need six to nine inches of rain over a month's time to get rid of this drought. Last night we had about four tenths of an inch and then tomorrow night we'll only see maybe about a quarter of an inch, but that's what we need. These little amounts of rain to keep chipping that away. Tuesday again, plenty of clouds, low 60s for high, so still really nice. Chilly and breezy on Wednesday with increasing sun throughout the day, mid 40s, near 50 on Thursday. And then Eric, I mentioned 70s earlier. Well, next Saturday, 74 for a high. Next Sunday, not bad, near 70, but some showers in the forecast next Sunday right now. All right, thank you, ma'am. Still ahead, the Maryland women with a sweet Sunday, plus the play of the year and the baseball season hasn't even started yet. Sports is next. Get to Nissan now and save on America's fastest growing auto brand with intelligent safety features. Take on the unexpected. The choice is clear. Get to Nissan now and save. Get 0% for up to 72 months on 11 models. I'll, I'll walk from here, Dad. Are you embarrassing me? Oh, no, it's not you. Are you sure? Yes. Uh-oh. Better get Mako. Come into Mako today and get a professional paint service for only $3.99. Mako, America's body shop. Fios is not cable. We're wired differently. Maybe that's why we've been ranked highest in customer satisfaction by J.D. Power four years in a row. And now you can love Fios, too. Get 150 meg internet, TV, and phone, all for $79.99 per month for the first year with a two-year agreement. It's the only internet with equal upload and download speeds. Cable only offers upload speeds that are a fraction of the download speeds. Plus, get HBO for a year and free multi-room DVR service for two years. Get the best. Go to GetFios.com. I know we need to talk about this. It's time. And it is a big decision for us. 
Let's take the $1,000 in cash back. <laughs> Great. You want to get one of those gaming chairs with the speakers? <laughs> oh, you do. That's a surprise. The Volkswagen 3 and Easy event, where you can choose one of three easy ways to get a $1,000 offer. Hurry in and lease a new 2017 Jetta S for just $159 a month, plus a $1,000 bonus. At Honda, we're proud of our heritage. Like with the Civic, it's stylish. And fast, with great performance and handling, all things we learned building engines like this. So hurry in to the Honda Dream Garage sales event. Get a great deal on the 2017 Civic, a KBB.com overall best buy for 2017 at your Honda dealer.